warning, you are about to enter a story that, because of its graphic nature and origins, may not be appropriate for younger viewers or those with faint of heart or timid dispositions. Parental guidance may apply. Well, good morning and hello again out there, all you people in YouTube land. Welcome back to my channel. This is my channel and I'm kind of sketchy. If you like what you see, please click those like buttons, like, subscribe, and share, and hit that bell button so you can get notified whenever I bring more drawings to the table. The Chimera. Myth? Legend? Truth? Maybe. Creatures that were hybrids between reality and imagination. Creatures that were mixed between one animal and another. Oft times, Chimera were imagined as horrible creatures. Today's chimera was tricky for me. The basilisk or the cockatrice. Hmm. They are the same. Maybe. They have shared the same name through history and are even mentioned in the Bible. Yes, they are. Part snake, part rooster. Well, actually they are two different distinct creatures here. But the names are oft mistake for one another. One was born of a snake or reptile egg, being hatched by a rooster, while the other was a chicken egg, being hatched by a snake or other reptile. You may hear my dog in the back. Maybe he's barking at one of them now. But anyway, the basilisk or the cockatrice? Chimera, indeed. Well, I have decided to give you both today. The basilisk has the body of a rooster as the tail of a snake, and sometimes dragon wings and scales, while the cockatrice was more aptly described as the king snake with a scaly crown and sometimes wings and multiple legs. The various other details uh, all seem to change through history a little bit and cultures, so please forgive me if what you have read differs from what I am sharing with you today. In fact, the two have been closely compared in history they have been so closely compared in history that they have the same interchangeable abilities. They both can breathe fire. They both have the ability to kill a man just by looking into his eyes. They both have a venomous blood that can kill a man just by being in the same proximity. The cockatrice has a trail of venomous saliva that it leaves in its wake. And people are not making this up. These things are historical legends, way before Marvel and way before any new movies. Dude, crack open into the Odyssey and the Chronicles of some Viking myths. All kinds of myths abound that kept kids in at night. The basilisk could even summon other snakes, and they do this to, and to do their bidding simply by the chimera hissing at them. There is so much that goes into these two chimera that I could go on all day but my video will last only five to ten minutes so there's that as I was doing some reading I wondered how one of these would fare against Medusa same stone power who knows I haven't seen one story yet about it but please if you read one please let me know I was really amazed at how these two creatures were so similar. I wondered if these were inspired by one another. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Which came first? The chicken or the snake? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, fine. Moving on from dad jokes. There's so much to draw from and so many tales. I couldn't imagine being alive in the time when these things were real. And by that I mean, well, you know, real to the populace that heard of gods and monsters and abounded in a time of great heroes, the great hero age. Hercules and Athena and Zeus and Titans and Thor and Odin and Loki and Valhalla and Elysium, blah, 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 blah. The list goes on, right? <laughs> well, it may have been a very scary reality for someone back in the day that believed in their hearts that a raging beast was waiting in a volcano or a geyser or deep deep in a mine shaft or fault line biding its time until before it unleashed 
a hell on the earth with a fiery wrath of blood. Wow, huh? Crazy stuff. There were a few things that could stop a chimera, such as the cockatrice or basilisk. Stories say that weasels could take down a chimera such as these. Yes, a weasel, similar to a modern ferret, was actually immune to the power of these chimera beasties. It's said that the weasel scent was said to be enough to destroy it, or at least harm these two beasties. Its chatter could kill. The weasel is awesome. It was truly a creature I would have owned if I lived back in the day of these legendary beasties. Oh wait, I do. My wife and I have had ferrets for the past few years, and it humors me that such a quirky little wire of a thing could have been mighty enough to take down one of these, so I guess I'm all set if there was ever a chimera outbreak. Alright, so, some real life parallels? Well, it's a wide held knowledge that, these, that the weasels are the natural enemy of the snake, namely vipers such as the king cobra, and such like that. And as you may or may not know, ferrets and other weasels have often been bred to be used as hunting companions to fish out small critters from their burrows. They are a formidable hunter against many, not withholding chickens and other bird killers. So we can gather from the similarities how these legends could have been first imagined as fact when the world around us seemed to make these facts hit home as truth. Birds and snakes? Weasels? Um, yeah. So that makes sense. Okay, it is that time again. We have come to the edge of the world here on the impossible myth-filled episode. Or, at least the end of yet another video here on my channel. So... Go forth and fill your life with art and passionately follow your dreams. I'm Logan Campbell, and as always, I'm kind of sketchy. I'll catch you later.